Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we'll be discussing about the trigonometric ratios for the angles 30 degrees and 60 degrees. That is, we'll be finding the sine 60 degrees, sine 30 degrees, and all the angles cos, tan, secant, cosecant, and cot. So we'll be finding all these trigonometric ratios for the values of 30 degrees and 60 degrees. So first we'll take an equilateral triangle. What is an equilateral triangle? And triangle with all the sides equal. So let A B be A. We are saying that this length of AB, the length of AB is A. So if the length of AB is A, then AC would also be A and BC would also be A. AC would also be A and BC would also be A. And since it is an equilateral triangle, it is also equiangular. What is equiangular? When all the angles are equal. So how can all the angles be equal? 180 degree divided by 3, which would be 60 degrees. So all these angles are 60 degrees. This entire angle is 60 degrees. Okay. So now what we'll do, we will draw an altitude from point A. We can draw it from any other point as well. But for now, we'll draw a, a altitude from point A and it will intersect BC at D. So it is an altitude, meaning it is a right, a right perpendicular to the base. Meaning if we draw an altitude from point B, it would be perpendicular to AC. What is perpendicular? It forms 90 degrees where it intersects. So you can see angle ADB is 90 degrees. Okay. So angle ADB is 90 degrees. AB is equal to A. AC is equal to A. And we know that in equilateral triangle, the altitude divide this. It is a perpendicular bisector. The altitude is a perpendicular bisector, meaning it is perpendicular, but it also bisects the side. So this side would be equal to this side. BC was complete, uh, totally BC was A. So if it is divided in two equal parts, then BD would be equal to A by 2. So this is A by 2 and this part is BC is also A by 2. Okay. So now we have all the sides that we require except one, which is this side. So if we take B as the angle so this would be the perpendicular now we have to calculate the perpendicular so we have hypotenuse a base a by 2 so hypotenuse is a square minus a by 2 the whole square a by 2 the whole square would, would be a square upon 4 okay so now what will we have is equal this is equal to perpendicular square so perpendicular would be equal to root so perpendicular would be equal to root so now we will have 4a square minus a square upon 4 root this would be 3a square upon 4 root now a will get out because since it is square square will cancel the root so we will have a outside root 3 and the square root of 4 is 2 so this is what we get for the perpendicular a root 3 by 2 Okay, now we have all the sides that we require. We'll write it down. So we have AB as A, BD as A by 2, and AD as A root 3 upon 2. Okay, so now what we'll do next is we'll calculate all the angles. Let's start off with 60 degrees first. So we have sine 60 degree. Sine 60 degree. We know sin is perpendicular by hypotenuse. In this case, perpendicular is A. Sin 60 degrees. So this is the angle. Hence, it would be the perpendicular. So we have A root 3 upon 2 divided by the hypotenuse, which is just A. So A and A gets cancelled. We have root 3 by 2. This is sin 60 degree. Now cos 60 degree would be base by hypotenuse. Cos is base by hypotenuse. Base we have A by 2. A by 2 and hypotenuse we have A. A and A gets cancelled. We have 1 by 2. Then we get tan 60 degree. Tan 60 degree. We know tan is perpendicular by base. Hence it would be perpendicular is A root 3 upon 2. A root 3 upon 2. And base is A by 2. A by 2. So A and A gets cancelled. 2 and 2 gets cancelled. We get root 3. So this is the value of sin 60, cos 60 and tan 60. Sin 60 degrees is root 3 by 2, cos 60 degrees is 1 by 2 and tan 60 degrees is root 3 by 2. 
And now we know a reciprocal of sine is cosec. So cosec 60 degree would be 2 by root 3, the reciprocal of root 3 by 2. Then the opposite of cos 60 degree would be secant or sec 60 degree, the, which would be 2 by 1, which is 2. Then we have cot 60 degrees, which is the reciprocal of tangent 60. So that will be 1 by root 3. So this is all of your values for 60 degree sin 60 is equal to root 3 by 2, cos 60 1 by 2, tan 60 root 3, cosecant 60 2 by root 3, 2 by root 3, secant 60 2 and cot 60 1 by root 3. So now we will look at 30 degrees next. So for 30 degrees, this would be 30 degrees. Why? This entire angle was 60 degrees. But we are looking at just this angle, just the angle, angle BAD, angle BAD, BAD, so B, A and D, so this angle. So what will be that angle? This angle is 60 degrees, that angle is 90 degrees, so by angles and property that would be 180 degree minus 60 degree plus 90 degree which is 150 degrees, which is equal to 30 degrees, hence this angle is 30 degrees, angle BAD is 30 degrees. Now we will call, calculate all the trigonometric ratios for this angle which is 30 degrees. Now let's start off with sin 60 degrees, sin 30 degrees, sin 30 degrees. So you know sin is perpendicular by hypotenuse. Now the perpendicular in this case is a by 2, why? Because this is the angle now. So angle side opposite to the angle, side opposite to the angle is the perpendicular. So this is the perpendicular, we get a by 2 and hypotenuse it remains the same a. So we get sin 30 degrees is equal to 1 by 2. Now cos 60, cos 30 degrees, it is base by perpendicular, base by hypotenuse, sorry. So base in this case is a root 3 by 2 and hypotenuse is a, a and a gets cancelled, we get root 3 by 2. Now tangent for 30 degrees, this is perpendicular by base. Perpendicular is a by 2 and base is a root 3 by 2 a and a gets cancelled 2 and 2 gets cancelled we get 1 by root 3 now cosec 30 degree there, now we will do the same thing we will take reciprocals this would be 2 since it is 1 by 2 the reciprocal of 1 by 2 would be 2 now secant 30 degrees this would be 2 by root 3 and cot 30 degrees this would be root 3 so now we determined the values of all the trigonometric ratios for the angle 30, sin 30 is equal to 1 by 2, cos 30 is equal to root 3 by 2, tan 30 is equal to 1 by root, 1 by root 3, cosec 30 is 2, cos second 30 is 2 by root 3 and cot 30 is root 3. So in the next video we will be discussing about the trigonometric ratios for the angle 0 degrees and 90 degrees.